we're back to watch another YouTube viral video. This one is another college humor video. It's the ultimate Game of Thrones recap from 10 months ago, but I ain't seen it yet. Nope. We're not even ready. Right. 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 I think about the shape. Right. I think about color. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Hey guys, Game of Thrones is almost back, but a lot has happened so far. Here's what you need to know to catch up. Game of Thrones is set on medieval Earth, on the continent of West mm -hmm. Eros, which lies across the narrow sea from East Eros. Mm -hmm. Our story is <laughs> when Ed Stirk East kills Eros. Robert Baratheon, also Ed known Stirk. as the Mad King, and claims the Chair of Blades. Meanwhile, Jimmy Lannister catches the devious spy, watching him make love to his beautiful girlfriend. Things don't end well for our spy. While across the narrow sea in East Eros, Danny Tanner, the Dragonborn, has to choose whether to marry the brave prince or Cal Dragon, the seductive dancer. This upsets her secret admirer, <laughs> Sir Richard Carlyle. But the real action is in the frigid south, where Jon Snow, Lord of House Snow, leads the Night Watch <laughs> over the wall House to find Snow. wives. Danny Tanner saves three baby dragons from a mill fire, and in gratitude, they become her friends. Ed Stirk's not happy about that because he wanted the dragons for himself. He kneels down in sadness. Now, we haven't seen much of Ed since this episode, and I don't want to give anything away, but you can expect him to make a big comeback this season. <laughs> this brings us to season two. Our new hero is Jeffrey the Good King. I love this guy. War breaks out between the six houses when no one can decide who gets to marry him. Everybody loves Jeffrey. Brave knight Theo Greyjoy invades Winterhold and declares beards illegal. King Stanley's wife Melissa gives birth to a smoke baby, who becomes next in line to the throne. This angers his son Renly, seen here kissing a beautiful woman. So where has the roguish Jimmy Lannister been all this time? The show hasn't said for sure, but if you look at the clues, it's pretty clear he's dead. Rest in peace, Jimmy. And that's great news for ten-year-old Tyrion Lannister, who is bestowed with the hand of the king, giving him the right to marry Jeffrey. Gary Stirk, the youngest of the Stirk boys, meets a magician and considers a career in the circus. Meanwhile, in Mordor, Kathy Stirk discovers the mastermind behind it all, the devious Lord Aaron, seen here seducing a wench. Back in Tatooine, Danny Tanner's dragon friends go missing. Where are my dragons? So who took them? Nobody knows, but we have our theories. Oh, no. Down in the icy <laughs> south, Jon <laughs> Snow has put on a lot of weight. He's so hungry, Damn, he hallucinates and imagines bad. ghosts. That brings us to season five. Mayor Karketty exiles Tyrion from King's okay. Landing, and his only oh, friend is the warrior, okay. Mad Mardigan. Rob Stark gets a traditional West Arrow's divorce so he can finally live the bachelor lifestyle. Back in Arrakis, Danny Tanner must stop a crime ring that's been cutting people's nipples off. And Jon Snow gets back in shape and has sex with a snowboarder in a hot tub. And in case you were wondering... Nothing you did. Yep, he teaches her how to whistle. Now, even if you don't watch Game of Thrones, you've probably already heard of the Red Wedding. That refers to this scene, where Tyrion and Sansa get married. Notice those red candles in the background? That's why it's called the Red Wedding. Well, that's everything you need to know to be ready for Season 6. A lot of questions still need to be answered, though. Will Aerys succeed in his dream of joining the circus? Is Lord Aaron really the last dragon? And can Richard Carlyle and Mad Mardigan defeat the witch? Whatever happens, we'll be watching. I'm all caught up now.